I've worked diligently and very hard on trying to uh, clean up some troubled neighborhoods. Um, I fought really hard to make sure that any landlords in the city that did not pay their taxes were not allowed to have any type of rental licensing. Um, any type of uh, services from the city whatsoever until they were made whole. Um, unpaid water bills, the amount was astronomical and uh, I pushed the initiative to have the water turned off on people that were just refusing to pay their water bills. Um, not handicapped residents or needy residents, but just people that were abusing the system. Um, I had the privilege of during one of the worst probably times in Warren's history, the flood, of working with some absolutely wonderful people. And um, I had the joy of uh, organizing the disaster response teams and working with the Southern Baptists and UMCOR and No DRT and all of the church groups to uh, assist over, you know, 1,500 Warren residents that called for help. Um, I've worked on so many initiatives that I would just like to see myself be able to finish what I started. Um, it's a joy. It's, it's very exciting when you sit in a city office and you have an opportunity to change your city for the better. Um, I've worked with uh, One Macomb, a group of 50 Macomb County churches, and together we partnered and rebuilt over 20 Warren homes. Um, we re-roofed homes, we gutted homes, we we um, fixed yards and at the same time uh, provided tutoring for the students in those homes in the school. Um, I am very community minded. I believe that community matters. Um, I have worked on pet initiatives with the TNR. I pushed for TNR so we can have humane treatment of our animals and uh, not just put down animals that are healthy. Um, I also did community outreach in the city of Warren and I think that's where my community base came in. And, uh, that's where my heart is. But um, I currently sit on the Warren Planning Commission as an ex-officio. Um, I sit on the Warren Crime Commission as an ex-officio. I sit on the Warren Library Commission as an ex-officio. Um, we're very busy on council since it went from 9 to 7. We've all picked up extra work. I sit on the Salvation Army Board and assist with homeless residents and those in need. Um, I've sat on anti-drug coalitions, Boy Scout coalitions, any type of neighborhood community coalition. I've started several community um, neighborhood watch groups and neighborhood watch groups. I believe that um, that's the way to really bring the crime rate down. It's people in many eyes. Um, I've had the uh, privilege of working with Officer Jody Walney and we created our Church Police City Coalition in the city. It's a very unique coalition of uh, churches the police department and city leaders that we get together and work on community issues. Through that CPC, Warren was one of the cities that was able to take care of all of its flood victims um, ourselves. We were able to uh, not have to wait and be put on long waiting lists like some of our neighboring cities. And we were already on the ground running when that happened. Um, it's uh, my background, I would say community matters. It's very community oriented. Um, I understand what families are going through. I've been married 24 years this year. Next year will be our big 25th. Have to go somewhere special. Uh, I have four children. My oldest is getting married this August. Um, that's new for us. And my baby just graduated from high school last week. He'll be going off to Western. Um, my oldest has her teaching degree. My one in the middle is getting her social work degree. Another one in high school. We're, very, um, we're a very busy family. Um, but I understand the needs, and I, I have a good, clear understanding of what's going on with their kids in the neighborhood as well. Um, my background comes from community-based, I would say faith-based. Um, I sit on the National Day of Prayer Committee. Um, you name an, a community outreach organization, and I've pretty much had something to do with working with them in the past four years. Um, I think we need to find some fresh eyes, bring in... Uh, several groups of people in to sit down at the table with us and come up with ways to uh, address this flooding issue we've had for a long time. Um, this last disaster we had was a natural disaster and a natural occurrence, but I think it would benefit the city of Warren if we could bring some fresh eyes, brand new fresh young guys into it um, and find a, some, you know, find some type of 
answer, some type of sure answer, not just maybe or probably, but yes, this is the answer for what is you know, causing all of the flooding. Um, a lot of our residents have lived in misery for a number of years, and that ought not to be in the age of engineering. We ought to be able to find a way to fix that. Um, I'd like to continue on with all the community outreach groups that I work with, um, all of the church organizations, all of the nonprofits, our church police city coalition, one Macomb, just keep working with the same groups. But while I'm, you know, like to work with the warm, fuzzy, community oriented groups, um, I am also going to uh, focus my attention still on slum lords and people that try to play the system and try to live off the um, tax payments that the rest of us make. Um, make sure that there's never a slum lord that gets any type of licensing in the city of Warren yet doesn't pay their dues, um, make sure that we still stay on people and make sure that everybody pays their fair share of water bills so we don't become like neighboring cities and what we've seen happen there. Um, also, uh, I would like to, and I did propose, uh, had a committee of the whole to discuss um, the possibility of setting up a special assessment for senior citizens and disabled residents where they could add to their assessment or tax bill um, a fee to have uh, a group that we bid out for services for snow shoveling in the winter time. Uh, this last winter, during that large snow, um, I myself received over 60 phone calls from residents, elderly, that there's no way that they can shovel that. And we have the largest population of senior citizens in the state. I know there's several cities in New York that do this. Uh, I know I had the city attorney's office look at it, and it is something that we can do here in the city of Warren. Um, I'm hoping to be able to push that initiative coming up in the next year. I pushed for GPS um, this term, and hopefully this winter, residents will be able to go on the City of Warren website and in uh, one second lag time, be able to click on an interactive map and see where the snow plows have already been and know where they're coming so we can all see the progress together because our guys work so hard. Um, I'd like to still um, work towards uh, tying in our Church Police City Coalition I think it proved um, that during the, the flood that you know some people think community organizations are warm, fuzzy, soft things, and they do make us feel good. But I personally believe that uh, the way to solve a community's problems is by the community solving them. Government can't solve all your problems. And during the flood, um, having organized all the volunteers that came out in hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, and our city was very blessed because we had churches of all denominations working together. Um, I would like to push that and see where that coalition can go and what else we can create and do together, um, whether it be wheelchair ramps, roof builds, neighborhood cleanups. Um, I'd like to still work with the community. Um, one last thing, I also, a pet peeve of mine, I'd like to see us, um, as a city, we have a growing number of vacant homes, uh, abandoned homes, and um, I know the administration's trying very hard to keep up on that. It's a difficult thing to keep up on. During the housing crisis, we weren't alone, like other cities. Um, we were left with a large amount of vacant homes, non-tax paid homes. They go back into forfeiture. For a number of years, uh, the city, the county would bundle the properties all together and sell them to one, one person for a large amount of money. And the city was not purchasing those properties back ourselves. And I think that's why we see it, saw a large turnover in rentals or properties being bought in a bundle sitting there for three or four years with no taxes still being paid and deteriorating. And then the next tax sale coming right back and having the same thing happen again. I would like to have a chance to work once again for Warren residents and continue on with many of the initiatives that I started.